U.S. intelligence official indicates Russia prefers Trump as election victor. This post received a score of 16,000, with an upvote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I mean did we really need an intelligence official to say this? It's been abundantly clear the U.S.'s biggest adversaries would love another Trump administration. While we all understand this to be true, it is useful for it to be said by an actual agency official. You and I aren't really in a position to know anything about Russian internal affairs except through fourth-hand sources, gut feelings, intuition, and extrapolations from behavior. An intelligence official who has been working with operatives in Russia or has been reading direct accounts and reports of operatives in Russia is a second-hand source with access to more information than we do, and they aren't relying on assumptions as much as we are. Except that any reasonable person was already never going to vote for him for a never-ending list of reasons, and this won't change the minds of any of his MAGA cultists. For the first time since 2013, New Jersey residents are being treated to the city's biggest fireworks celebration this July 4. The 10,000 free tickets Mayor Eric Adams was offering have all been claimed, but a number of venues from the High Line to Hudson Yards are selling fancy $100 plus tickets to their rooftop parties and viewing points. There are still plenty of places to take in the great views for free, no tickets required. For the first time since 2013, New Jersey residents are being treated to the city's biggest fireworks celebration this July 4. The 10,000 free tickets Mayor Eric Adams was offering have all been claimed, but a number of venues from the High Line to Hudson Yards are selling fancy $100 plus tickets to their rooftop parties and viewing points. There are still plenty of places to take in the great views for free, no tickets required. Putin hates America and wants a president that will wreck America? Seems like he's betting on chaos to weaken US global influence. It has worked in the past. It is currently working. Seriously, people keep thinking it's some hypothetical. It's happening now. Nations hostile to the U.S. are emboldened and allies of the U.S. are scrambling to build up military infrastructure because the U.S. has become vulnerable and unreliable. We are in the midst of a major shift in the global balance of power. U.S. soft power is already going down the drain. It's happening currently, right now. Color me surprised. Right. Who could have seen that coming? A twist no one saw coming, except everyone. During the debate Trump insinuated twice that he and Putin had already spoken and worked out a plan for dividing Ukraine if he is elected. He stood there and said it out loud. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.